Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another resin project. So today I'm going to be showing you how to take this, let's make sure, yes, that's the right way, this little resin mold for Santa's nice list and make adorable nice list pieces that you can use for paperweights, for display, to mail to people. Oh, those would be so cute to mail to kids. Okay, new project, scrap the whole thing. We're gonna make letters to send kids after I explain this. So, <laughs> I made these out of resin. You can see I made a dark pink, a light pink, and one with iridescent foil. I put white on all of the words. So I'll try to hold this still, but you can see there are all of these ridges in here and the way that turns out when the pieces are made you can fill them in with paint, whatever kind you like, so that it's easily readable and it's super cute. So it says, you are on the nice list, love Santa. And I decided the best way to display this was with some envelopes and a mailbox for my Dear Santa letter sign display. So I made this Dear Santa sign a few years ago. I made these cute postage stamps this year. I'll leave a link to both of those videos below. but. These, however cute they are, they were a little too small just to make and hang on the wall. They needed something behind them. I could have just done one envelope, but of course I do one envelope and you can make a whole mailbox. So I will leave all of the links for the envelopes and the mailbox below. But for today, we are focusing solely on the resin portion and how to make this. So this is a good beginner project. This mold is actually very easy to use. And I'm going to show you how to make it with resin, with iridescent flakes, with um, pigment, how to actually add the white on top so that you can read those letters because that is a super simple technique that I just learned this year. I've been making resin pieces for years. So we're gonna jump right into the project. All right, y'all. So we are going to get started. As you can see, I have quite a few projects out here. So when I pour resin, I like to be able to mix up quite a bit of resin maybe in a couple colors. Today I'm doing iridescent and rose gold and then pour a few projects at a time. That way I don't have to just do, you know, a couple, couple little bits of resin. So first we're just gonna go ahead and mix resin and then we will jump into each project individually. So first things first, since I'm doing two different colors, I'm going to go ahead and mix, I think, I'm thinking 300 milliliters in my big cup here. So I'm gonna do 150 of A, 150 of B and mix those thoroughly together. Once I get everything mixed up and ready to go, we'll, we'll switch. So make sure once you're actually working with the resin here that you have your gloves on and that you have your respirator on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my respirator on and I'll, I'll try to put some instructions up here on the screen since you won't be able to hear me anymore. Repeat 
All right. So this was obviously my last one. And I don't know, but I feel like there's going to be more bubbles in this one. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, so the way this mold is, all of these filigreed areas kind of have more of a, like they definitely have a different shine. Like without the iridescent flakes behind this, I think you could read that without even putting paint on it. So that's cool. I kind of want to pour one that's just clear or just a solid color to really test that out, but... All in all, I love it. I think I'll put a little bit of paint across those just so that you can really read it. And then we'll see what I'm gonna do with this because this is the one I still don't know. All right. All right, so when you're painting resin, you go right in, make sure you really cover those spots. And then you wanna wipe it off while it's still wet. See how much easier that is to read already. I like to work in little spots, and I mean, you can tell I've already done a couple of this particular piece. Work from the middle out on this one. So, do that middle part, and then I'll do all these edges. So this one being iridescent, it was always going to be hard to see, but do you see the difference on this side and this side where I haven't done yet? The paint really makes a difference. Of course, if you really want them to be legible, don't use the iridescent flakes. Or maybe the iridescent flakes in a solid color, but the iridescent and this clear is kind of that in a thousand. That's why I made the other two solid colors. Made this one first. Also, one more tip. If you can avoid it, try not to get any on the sides. Obviously you can clean it off the sides, but for some reason it's way harder than it should be. You can avoid it, it's easier just to not do it at all. told you that was quick and easy, super simple. Even if you've never done resin before, this project only takes maybe 30 milliliters of resin. So you don't need much. You can buy some little bottles to make some of these little projects with. I actually think I did a hundred milliliters for the Maceless, two of these postage stamps and one of the um, Schitt's Creek key ring pieces that I made. I'll leave a link to that below because they turn out really cute, but they're not Christmassy. So, I mean, you don't need a lot. A little goes a long way with these small molds. 
and they're super fun to make. So if you liked this project, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, turn on notifications, because I am rolling out a whole line of resin and Cricut projects for Christmas leading up to my Christmas home tour for 2021, where I show you how I displayed all of them in my home, because I love them. All right, bye y'all.